Okay, I'm back again with another modification. Today is Saturday, February 13th. So today what I'm going to talk about uh, the modifications that I've done is on the K&M Arbor Press that you see sitting in front of the camera. Um, it is a great press, works great. And it has, I bought it with the dial indicator. Um, I'm not going to go through as far as how to set it up and how it works and do any review on it. But it is a great press. So the modifications that I have done is, of course, it comes with the black base. So what I have done, the first modification uh, is I have cut out, I believe this is a half inch by five inch, and that's about 10 inches long, of piece of aluminum that I bought from the metal shop. So cut that, so that gives me a larger base to work with. In the back, the bolts are um, I countersunk the hole so the bolts are countersunk in. Another modification that I've done. So basically, uh, this base gives me um, a larger um, area. And I can see clamp this to my workbench or when I take it out to the field for field reloading. I can see clamp this to the bench and it doesn't move. Another modification that I have done is I have uh, scored the vertical column with some numbers and I have scored this and this, this just gives me some references to go off of. Say for example, if I'm doing a 6.5 um, I know approximately where the 6.5 sits, or this could be a 308. So in the future, when I'm going back to it, I'll just look it up on my notes, and I know 6.5 or 308. They're about right around 5. Um, so it's it's not a big deal, but at least I thought if if I put some marks on there, I can see what's going on. Um, another modification is um, the press comes with the press comes with um, just uh, screws they are they are 1024 screws and you have to use an allen wrench to tighten down well it has it has four screws it comes with four screws or four bolts um, that every time you set up the press, you use an Allen wrench to tighten down the four bolts. So this does not move. So that was kind of pain, um, getting the Allen wrench set up, line it up, tighten it down. So what I decided to do is, um, I had some uh, steel stock here at the shop. I believe this is about three quarters inch. And I cut it about inch and a half or so lengthwise. Just real quick, drill some holes in there. The size of the thread is uh, 1024. So I got some long bolts. 1024 and I have a uh, lock nut so this is nice and secure on this and from what I've noticed I don't need to have all the four bolts tight for this press to work properly as long as I have the top two tightened down just so as long as I have the top two tightened down when I do my bullet seating, this main press body does not move up. 
of course it's not going to move down so i don't need to have the bottom two so these two work fine i don't need to have the allen wrench handy so i can loosen these by hand and i can move this up and down as i need to and then tighten them up And they don't need to be super tight, otherwise you're gonna <coughs> excuse me, otherwise you're gonna um, strip the threads. So once you get them nice and snug, and this will work great. Now with the other two holes, I was left with two other holes. So I thought, what can I do with the other two holes and the big base that I have here? So what I decided to do is make myself a, I'm going to pull this to side, make myself a concentricity station. And I'll set it up and I'll show you how it works. Basically what I did is this is a electronic gauge which is much easier for me to read and and this moves up and down i got this from amazon works great so far i have this adjustable arm also from amazon i had a uh, piece of aluminum stock here at the shop so i cut that Cut this whole thread it to this thread. I don't remember what it was. But at any case, let me go ahead and set it up. And I will show you how this works. Okay, so I have another uh, T-bolt. Shop made T-bolt. Okay. So I attach my aluminum piece onto my vertical of the press. And this is what it looks like. And once you loosen up this, a little tight now, but there we go. So once I have this, loose i can move this in any position that i want and i'll just tighten it down snug it up and i can adjust this and i can check for run out now as far as what do i use for uh to set my cases on again another piece of uh shop aluminum one inch by quarter inch and i think this is about uh three four inches long yeah probably about three inches long i went to the hardware store got myself some ball bearings i believe these are three eighths or maybe quarter inch ball bearings i carefully measured uh the center uh between the two ball bearings when they're touching i dimpled my stock um and i just dropped these into the dimple um and put crazy glue gel um and just dropped these in and let it set and they're perfect and they're not going anywhere um as far as my backstop again i just had an aluminum tube um probably today well um uh, this um, holds the case the back of the case so it doesn't move back and forth uh, this this is just aluminum tube and I've used um, 632nd screws uh, and a lock nut uh, to make sure this stays in place later on today what I will do is I will take this off and just use um, a piece of K2 
case. I'll cut it a little bit shorter. Uh, thread the bottom of the case so I can get rid of this. But um, it works great. Let me set it up and you'll see how it works. So in this case, um, I will adjust this. Bring this down, move it out, bring it down. Now, you have to hold your finger, left finger, on the left so the case does not uh, go down by the pressure. And all I have to zero it every time, which is, which is not a big deal. And I'm turning the case now, but my left finger has pressure on the case. So as you can see, this only has 1000s run out. Um, anyway, um, I like to tinker with stuff. I like to make things uh, a little bit better. Uh, and I hope, um, I hope this comes in handy and somebody can use the idea and make their workbench a little bit handy and make their tools handy. So this is what I have for today. Um, let me know of any questions, comments, concerns, give me your ideas. If you like the videos, give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to it. Um, and um, I will see you guys on the next time. I don't know what I'll be working on next. But I always, again, as I said, I always like to tinker with stuff. And if anything comes to mind and uh, if I'm doing uh, anything new, I'll make sure to post it. So be sure to give it a double thumbs up, single thumbs up. I don't know how YouTube works. Uh, and share the videos and give me uh, your comments or questions. Thanks for watching.